happy day, I'm glad. And I got my first normal job when I was 14. Okay, that was a little bit older than a lot of other kids on my block. A lot of kids, when they were like six to eight, they got paper routes. My brother, when he was eight, he ended up getting a job as a bat boy for the local baseball team. And I just really adore kids with jobs. I just think it's the cutest little thing. This kid, for example, is a Roomba or a lawnmower or a floor cleaner. I don't know what she is, but she's doing it well. I see a very, very bright future ahead. This kid is so young and already acting like a dad with a leaf blower. Just can't really. <laughs> the effort is there, okay? He's trying to take the job. Why are you just yelling at him to blow the grass? Can't you see he can't control this? This kid wants the job. This kid stepped up to the occasion, rose to the occasion, tried to make sure that the family would be taken care of. It's just spinning in circles. Somebody at least teach him to turn it off. He's being overpowered, okay? The first time my parents ever tried to make me mow the lawn, I was too weak to push it. I couldn't do it. It wasn't like a nice lawnmower. We had like the cheapest lawnmower ever that you had to really just uh, to get it going anywhere. And I definitely would have been blown away by this. I actually was the kid who almost got blown away by a kite. If this kid was my size, he would have just blown away. So this first child is very cautious. This is your average child just doing average child things, taking care, making sure he's fine. And this kid is a future daredevil. She's just going right in. I was a lot more careful as the second born, as the middle child. I always watched my brother do stuff and kind of feel it out before I would try it. I feel like my brother would have just fwang right to the bottom and I would have like, I can't fall, I'll get hurt. I never got to use one of these. And for that, I'm devastated. There was a place in my town that opened up called Laughs. And right when you opened up the door, you saw stuff like this. And and I never got to go. It like closed before I was able to like be like, mom, I wanna have a birthday party there. My daredevil career is over. But the second kid here, they're getting a little taste of the adrenaline. And you know what? I think this kid will be back. Here we have a professional roaster, comedian, savage. Yes, can I date your mom? No. So what? No, big kid. <laughs> big kid? Boom, roasted. You said no who? No, big kid. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's what I thought you said. That's what I thought you said. Hold on, come back. Come oh, back, and come he back, walks come away! Back. Don't leave. Why can't I date your mama? Because you're ugly. Oh! oh! It's all good, bro. You my home. Oh my goodness, this kid. We're talking about kids with jobs, right? I present the youngest member ever, Guinness Book of World Records, youngest member of the Boomin Group. I didn't know this stuff doesn't rinse right <laughs> at home. <laughs> it's hair dye. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's going to join the Blue Man Group, or he's gonna join Eiffel 65. He's gonna be like, I'm Blue and I die. But I see a bright future right ahead. The hair matches the eyes. The aesthetic is on point. Whose idea was it to dye his hair blue? Was it his? If that was his idea, that's really cool. Maybe he's a future tastemaker, who knows? Here we have a motocross cyclist, which I just think is the coolest little thing. Like, look how tiny this little bike is! And his little outfit! Send him off, yeah! This is one of those things that I've always wondered, like how do kids get into it? Do you have to have the dad who is wearing the monster energy drink hat? Maybe he's an athlete too. Maybe he was sponsored. Are you a biker? It definitely looks like it. Okay, that's how he got in young. Gonna ride? I'm going on that track. And he's got the haircut and everything. He's living the whole dream. Dip it, sip it. Oh my God. He even knows the slang. I don't know what dip it, sip it means, but this kid's getting ahead. Do you ever get jealous that a lot of sports, like stuff like this, you have to get into it really, really young. Otherwise you'll never really be good at it. Like tennis, for example, you kind of have to start when you're young. Like you have to have someone who will support that. Otherwise you're never going to be as good as the people who were playing since they were like six and like kind of just, it's like a second nature to them. I've always been like kind of jealous of that. And I don't know why I chose Taekwondo and not something like like this or something that I could use. This little girl is going to enter marketing and subliminal messages. What'd you make? See you next time. Ah, very clever. I'm sure there's a lot of marketing teams who are gonna want you. People that are gonna be like, okay, like how 
do we present this in a very innocent way? But really, it's kind of saying another thing, you know? It's saying another thing. I feel like she knows what she was doing. Every time I said the darndest thing when I was a kid, everyone would always be like, oh my goodness, she doesn't know what she's doing. But I was like, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. If you thought little motocross was cute, I present to you, woohoo, <laughs> little skier. Powder. Even calling the very light fluffy snow powder. Getting so far ahead. How is this kid mic'd so well? How can I hear exactly what they're saying? Look at this kid's balance. We're kind of taking it for granted because it looks kind of easy to stand on these skis, but like, have you ever seen an adult try to ski for the first time? This is gonna be one of those kids where they get so good at that thing that they get frustrated with people for not getting it right away because they're like, you just do it. It's kind of like when someone who's been playing video games since they were really, really young try to teach someone new and it's like, Ah, you just aim! You aim, you shoot. You, you're positioning, it doesn't make any sense. If you went to war, is that where you would stand? No, back up! Here we have a future cheerleader. Obviously, top of the pyramid and the one who is flipped around and not the one who's doing the flipping. But she seems very open to it. Maybe a future gymnast? Maybe a, ooh! You can tell she loved that adrenaline. I remember one time I had this babysitter who came over who used to like to like grab us by the arms and just spin us around. And like the adrenaline that I got from that was insane. Like it, it would get annoying. If I was this girl every single day, I'd be like, come on, let's go launch me, launch me. I used to do that with my dad all the time in the pool too. I'd be like, just pick me up and just throw me as far as you can, all right? Throw me in the air, grab a bat and just hit a grand slam with me, all right? I want that adrenaline. This kid is a pet. Oh. Oh. Potential future musician just sees the headphones and breaks out into a dance. Why is he on a leash? Why do people put their kids on leashes? I'm trying not to judge. Please, somebody comment. I need to know why do some people put their kids on leashes? It's so embarrassing. I just... I... If I couldn't let go of my kid without them running off into the street and getting run over, like I would hold their hand because I just don't know if I could tolerate the stigma of being like, my kid is a pet, okay? A pet. This kid right here is gonna be CEO. On a, okay. The man knows what he wants, okay? He's dreaming big. He knows what to do. What I'm wondering is where did he learn this? This is like a brand new sentence for me as a kid. Like I would have never thought I want to shake my butt on a yacht. I wouldn't have had the diction. I, I would have said on a boat. This kid right here, I know it's gonna come true because he is manifesting it. If you wanna manifest something, you go onto a dock and you scream it into the ocean. I don't know why, there's something magical about it. The gods are listening. They can hear a little bit better out here because you know, less traffic, less animals, less carrions going, why are you yelling? Like you can yell as loud as you want and I don't think it's gonna fall on deaf ears. Actually kneeling over like this is bonus points because it shows that you really mean it and the gods really appreciate that body language. Escaping. Oh my goodness. The killer is escaping. That's terrifying. He's escaping. <laughs> okay, wait, is his job to creep me out? I'm scared. Why is his facial expression like that? I feel like this is a super villain in the making, or like this kid's like a or this is a model in the making who like understands the old eyes. The killer is escaping! I, do, I just I can't. It's scary. Get your toddler ready to go and pretend you forgot them. This kid wants to be their mom. This kid is like, when I grow up, I'ma be this. We got the matching outfits. We're going to get there. Uh-oh, you slammed the door right on my face. Rude! Of course they had to do the obligatory, but she was happy as soon as she got out the door. Well, duh, because she was with you. Because that's actually a mini me. I don't want kids, but at the same time, I do want a mini me. How cute would it be if your kid just wanted to be exactly like you? But could you stand the heartbreak if your kid looked at your outfit and was like, I want the opposite of that. I want to be the opposite of what you are. That actually might be cool because I would be able to like take inspiration from it, but they even have like matching bangles. They have matching earrings. They both have little updos. Oh! When your son makes his own riding lawnmower. Look, I am so done with this. Do you see this child? 
this is an entrepreneur. Like there's nothing else we can say here. This is an entrepreneur. This kid is going to solve climate change. This kid is going to grow up and solve everything. That is crazy. That is smart. At least they gave him credit where credit's due. They're like, I can't with this kid, but you know what? That's smart. I hated mowing the lawn. I hated shoveling the snow. Every time it was shoveling the snow time, I would literally just, eh, I can't. Oh, woe is me. And then my dad and brother would do most of it. <laughs> I just couldn't stand it. And I wasn't strong enough to like really get through to the ice at the bottom. Like my dad was chipping the ice at the bottom and it actually looked like a perfect driveway after. Whereas with me, I was just flattening the snow. Oh, I mean, hey. That's really good exercise, really good for your upper body strength, really good for your coordination, better than I could do. I don't know, I feel like that would be really fun. And if you think about it, every single kid's playground that you go to, what do they have? They have that little slidey pole that you get on and you slide down. How do firefighters get down to their trucks as soon as they humanly can? They slide down a pole. Let's end the stigma of poles because you know what? It's good exercise, this looks like fun. I would have been thrilled to have a pole in my house when I was a kid. Thrilled. This kid, I can tell, is going to be the number one food raider on Yelp. The concentration on the face. I didn't get a pearl, Mom. How is this baby supposed to give a proper review if it didn't get a pearl? You have to get a pearl every time you take a sip. Can you give it, please? <laughs> give it! Let me know if you get a pearl, then. You can see it coming up the straw. No pearl, no pearl, I no pearl. Okay, I'm stupid, but hey, at least we're being provided with proof right now because I didn't believe it. Our future food reviewer gave it a great review. We've talked about food reviewers, but what about location reviewers, right? Like people who travel to different countries and review how they feel about it. This kid, this video was taken down, which is fortunate and unfortunate at the same time because what happened was the dad was like, how do you like California? And the kid was just like, <laughs> There is no better review than a fart. There's no better review than that. We actually had a long running joke in my family where if like somebody said something somebody else didn't like, it, they would just be like, that's what I think about that. And I could never do that because I can't fart on command and I was always jealous. So you guys know that lick challenge, like the trend where you like show up to school and you steal stuff. This kid has a job, okay? This kid is doing angelic yields. You think he's gonna steal the dispenser, but no, it's replacing the soap. Oh, is that a wet counter? Not today. I'm gonna put this sign right on it. Oh, and did you need a sign? Stop licking the school and start deviously licking me. Oh, all right, well, um, I really wanted to see more videos from that trend just because it was kind of fun how much it made me mad, but uh, TikTok like recently took it all down so like you can't really find anything. And when I saw this on my For You page, I was like, what? How is this still there? And now it's just the only time you see it is kids who've taken it upon themselves to donate back to their public schools. That's a pretty cute job. Filling the soap dispenser for the janitor? I would have never thought of that. So I don't think that these next kids know what their value to this job is. I feel like you can tell this ride slaps by how much the scared little girl looks like she's going to pass out. And I'm speaking as a former scared little girl. Like this was me anytime I went on a ride where I was upside down and it was swinging a lot. They are terrified. They think that they're gonna die. They're not even having fun. They don't even wanna look. They're borderline crying. That's how you know a ride slaps and they should put these two girls on every, yeah, actually no, that would like scar them for life. I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like this is a really solid review for an adrenaline junkie that this is probably gonna be a pretty good ride. It's gonna have the height. It's gonna have the butterflies. It's going to have the, Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Which I get really easily. The tire swing almost made me throw up when I was in the first grade. So I feel where they're coming from, but also they're contributing to our knowledge of whether a ride is good or not. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the creators who are featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. I will see you on the next one. Bye.